Hey everyone, my name is Chrissy Lemaire. I'm a PowerShell MVP and author of the DBA Tools PowerShell module. In this video, I'm going to show you how to migrate SQL Server logins using the Copy SQL Login commandlet available within the DBA Tools module. Copy SQL Login migrates SQL Server logins and Windows logins from one SQL Server to another. It migrates the login name, the SID, the login password if it's a SQL Server login, the default database, the server roles, the server securables, database roles, database securables, and login attributes like enforce password policy and expiration and language. Copy SQL login supports clusters, named instances, all of the versions from 2000 to 2016, and all additions from Express to Enterprise. So in this video, I'm going to install the DBA Tools module and create a SQL login and then perform a migration from SQL 2005 to SQL Server 2016. So let's go ahead and start by installing the DBA Tools module. DBA Tools is free. It's available on GitHub, but don't worry. You don't have to know anything about GitHub because I created a really easy installer. You can just go to the page. You can look up DBA Tools on Google or just go to git.io slash B300. So here we have the installer. Just copy it, paste it. It'll go, it'll download the zip, extract everything for you, and install the module. You'll get a lot of really cool functionality with this module, but in this case, we're just going to be looking at copy SQL login. So now let's go ahead and create a login on SQL 2005, and we'll take a look at 2016 so that you can see that only the basic logins exist. Here on 2005, we're going to create a new login. We're gonna call it Migrate Me migrate me. We're going to give it this complex password and uncheck user must change password at next login, but we'll keep these two checked. Now for the default database, we're going to change it to tempdb and we'll switch the default language to French. Next, we're going to pick the first three server roles just so that it's easy to differentiate. And then for the user mapping, we'll add this login as a user to msdb and give it these first three. Securables are not created until the login exists, but don't worry, it will bring over all of the securables. And for the status, we're going to leave this at grant and enable, otherwise it won't be able to show you that the migration was successful. So now that that's done, let's go ahead and copy the login. So we will copy SQL login. We'll specify the source which is SQL 2005, and the destination, which is SQL 2016. Now, if I just pressed enter right here, then it would copy over all of the logins, but we only want two logins. So let's specify those by hitting L and then tab completion. Now, what's really cool is that this commandlet does go out to SQL Server, and it gets a list of all the logins, so you can just tap through. So let's bring over this Windows login and then we'll also bring over migrate me so now we have a windows login that we're migrating and a sql server login that we're migrating and i do want to point out one quick thing you do have the option to only sync the logins which means that it will migrate the server permission sets the server roles the database roles the database permission sets and so on but it will not create any new accounts this is useful for things like availability groups in this case, we do want it to create it, so we'll just go ahead and press enter. So in less than one second, it has migrated over these two logins, and it's done a pretty thorough job of it. So let's go ahead and look at the newly migrated logins. We'll refresh here, and now we have PowerShell and Migrate Me. And if you remember, we only selected these two. We changed the default database to tempdb and the default language to French. For the server roles, we selected the first three. For the user mapping, we selected the first three here as well, and securables, these were migrated, and here are the statuses. So to show you that it was an actual real live migration that really worked, we're going to connect as migrate me. So now we'll just paste in the password and now we're in. So there we have it, a SQL login migration that takes less than one second to migrate logins with SIDs, passwords, permission sets, and attributes. I hope that you've enjoyed this video and that you're excited about migrating logins now. If you have any questions, feel free to comment or hit me up on Twitter. I've got the two-letter handle CL.